Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 36 of the Tamagotchi Connection series here. So, of course, we have the two Tamas, which, whoop, let's see, can I focus them better on there? They're doing pretty fine. So, let's, whoop. There you go, I see, they're doing pretty well. They're pretty doing nice and well for each other. So I'm just going to go back to holding one of them real quickly. Because it's easier to just quickly discuss what's going on with each of these devices. So on the side of the Mamie Chi, um, she is doing pretty much fine. We do have to give her some food though. And play a little bit of games with her. So let's do that. Do a game of dance. Boop. Okay, there we go, and then we'll do two dumps. I do like the whole little animation of this uh, whole mini game here. Like the little guy right there in the center. Oh, I messed that up, didn't I? I did, but who cares? But pretty much a little simple thing currently. They are doing pretty fine, I'd say. Yeah, let's do a game of jump too. I've been I've not been playing too much of this jump mini game. I do prefer this jump mini game over a lot of Tamagotchi mini games, to be honest. Especially compared to some of the earlier mini games. This one reminds me of the one on the angel a bit, kind of. Though I kind of like the one on the angel way more than I like the uh, this one. One day I'll show off that mini game because we'll, we will have a Tamagotchi Angel series at some point. Though, I don't know how to do the Angel series. I'm trying to figure that out. If that ever came around, or once that comes around. Because I'd love to do an Angel and a Devil series, but... I don't know if I'll ever own a Devil, so it'll probably just be an Angel series. <laughs> I'd love to own a Tamagotchi Devil, but those things are expensive. I love the look and appeal of like the design of the Tamagotchi. Uh, the Devil Gotchi or whatever. But... Man, that thing is pricey. If I ever find one for a good price, I'll actually pay for it, though. Like, not gonna lie. Would love to run a devil on this channel with the angel. Look at both of the differences and everything of each of the devices. One of those cool things where it's like, maybe one day. Same with, like, the Magical Witch. If I ever found one of those for, like, an actual decent price, then, like... I would totally scoop that up. I would totally, I would love a magical witch. <laughs> Those devices have such like a major appeal to me. It just, I don't know, the whole like, aesthetic of it all and everything. It's just like, oh, I love it. It also doesn't help that like some of my favorite Digimon are like Wizardmon and stuff like that. And if you know like the backstory of those Digimon, uh, they all come from like the magical witch world. Because Bandai had like that whole concept of the multiple layers. Um, for those who don't know, in Digimon, I guess Adventure probably the proper way to explain it. It's in basic Digimon too, but uh, there's like layers to each of the worlds, technically. So, for example, um, trying to think about, it. okay, here, let me, there you go, close this up real quickly and explain what I'm trying to talk about here. So basically, in Digimon, there's like multiple layers, so you can have the like, Digimon layer, but in the technical aspect, there is the Tamagotchi layer, and then there's the uh, Wizard layer, technically, or the Magical Witch, I should say. So, they can actually cross worlds with each other, uh, in a way. So, for example, there's certain Digimon that come from the Tamagotchi world, there's certain uh, Digimon that come from the Magical Witch's world. So it's actually like this really cool concept of like multiple layers and stuff like that. And you can see in other type of Digimon as well, like the Metabots type and stuff like that. So it's like you can actually have these like really cool crossovers in like the world of uh, Digimon. And I guess in a technical sense, it does exist in the Tamagotchi span as well. Because in the Tamagotchi, you do see crossovers as well. And if you're going by Digimon lore, then you could technically say that most Tamagotchi crossovers are kind of canon. It's like how Magic the Gathering has like multiple like crossovers, but in some weird sense they are technically canon, which is kind of crazy to me to think about that one. 
And we only bet high on this device, so let's go. I kind of wish you could bet more than just $9. <laughs> I get why they limit you at $9, but like, man, I would totally love to just like go crazy and do a bunch of like random things on these devices. So let's see, do we have anything super fancy? Uh, no we do not, but I will buy that. Do we hungry or anything? Nope. Okay. I know it's just a tree or whatever, but like, to be honest, it's such a cheap one that I'm like, eh, we'll show that off in the next episode. Show off that cool little animation or whatever. But the ninja one is also doing pretty well. We are basically just saving up for money. Basically, I've not really done much with this type of device. Basically, every time I can need something, or if I'm bored, I'll just start going through this little mini game right here. And just kind of go crazy on it. Because to be honest, why not try maxing out the points? Have like a fun little run with like just buying stuff to be honest. I don't even try like matching them up or anything like that. Like it, there's just like nothing really stopping you from being like, eh, spam, spam, spam. The only thing stopping you is your weight. And to be honest, it's so easy to like gain back weight. <laughs> So you're like, eh, you can totally sit here and just spam this little thing. And there we go. We lost some points right there, but you can just go right back in. Because you ain't betting high. Watch, I could close my eyes and be like, wow! Oh, nope, lost again. Doesn't matter, you can't even see my face, so. There we go, got a circle, an X, and a circle. If you get three circles, it does like this cool little animation or whatever. I don't know if I've shown that off on the channel or not. I might have. It's the same animation that's on the, uh, our, nope, wrong device. On this one right here, if you have, uh, if you complete, like, the running and, uh, running and dance mini game, the little celebration thing, so it's like, woo! Woo! There you go. Kind of thing. I don't know if it'll let me show it off on this dice. This kind of thing is just purely random. But we're almost at 4,000 points, so yay. Oh, there we go, got a circle. Nope, never mind. I'm not gonna keep trying this because it's kind of a pain in the butt to try seeing if I can match it up or whatever. But I think I have kind of decided where I will take off with this series in a bit. So I'll explain what's going on real quickly. After these two get married off or whatever, I'm going to probably end it right there for these two. I'm going to swap over to these two wonderful devices here. Which, for those wondering, like, oh, why is that? I feel like I should get some introspective on the version 3, especially if I'm going to be doing a whole series on it. And I know if it's like how later devices are, it'll probably have timed events and stuff like that. So I want to kind of get more used to the whole timed events part of these devices. So we'll be running the Katai, which will be, it's the more similar experience, especially coming on later, but I know there'll be very, very uh, huge differences with the uh, V3 re-release. And we'll be looking at the Akai, which will be completely new experience in all ways, because I don't think they put anything from the Akai into the modern V3. We'll also have the wonder wonders of the uh, red pixels and everything so it'll be really exciting to see like all the little things that comes out of this device so i'm excited around these two but basically once we are done with the these two devices over here we'll be starting up the whole like era of like v3 things mainly just to get like some insight on what's going on with the uh the newer devices it'd also be kind of cool to like show off that they can't connect to the new ones or whatever well, maybe. Who knows? I have not been looking at information on the internet about these devices. I don't even know what type of chain these things use, by the way. Like, the V3 re-release. -re I doubt they'll be using the fancy little, like, strap type here. Or in the case of this other one I own. This weird kind of clip thing. To be honest, I wish they kind of used these clip things. I hate the circle chains. It's because they don't ever like to fit with the uh, cases or whatever. 
which is kind of a bit of a pain. But it's understandable. Understandable very well. And I'll probably be ordering cases for these guys soon as well. I'll be ordering cases for all my Tamagotchi connections, to be honest. Because I feel like that's kind of more of a thing I should be doing. Getting some protection on all of them. And I think I finally have, like, the one I'll be going forward towards and everything else, so... We'll be seeing some more of these type cases soon. Well, not these specific types. These are for the Osu and Mesu. Which, we need to do a series on the Osu and Mesu one day. That'd be another fun one to look into. And we will have those devices at some point. It'll be fun to rerun those devices and review them. But for right now, that's pretty much it on this little episode here. We are doing really great on the main devices, and we're just waiting for the marriage lady to come by. Once the marriage lady comes by, I'll probably take out the battery in them and move over to one of these wonderful devices. Well, both these wonderful devices here. And it does mean we get to be unboxing this wonderful thing and looking through its instructions and all that fun. Get to be looking at all this wonderful art and everything. And all the little fun little technical details. So, ooh, exciting. And we'll probably be adjusting lighting towards this wonderful thing. Because, to be honest, let's see. It's probably more of a pain in the butt one to record, probably, in the future. But, as you see there, let's see, can we get some light on the screen? Slightly. The red polarizer kind of makes it hard to tell what's going on a lot of the times. So I'll probably be adjusting the light setup a little bit to make that a bit more viewable. I'll probably be the same thing with the uh, Uratama right there, to be honest. So we'll be adjusting some lighting and everything like that, uh, like that soon. Which is fine by me. I can understand why it's like that. It's not like the best currently with uh, these devices still. It's still very viewable, but like once we start going into like the more weird, funky ones... It'll probably be a bit harder to look at. So, probably episode one might look bad or whatever. Well, not episode one, but, like, once we do start running these ones. I'm still going to call it the Connection Series, by the way. It, like, it doesn't matter. These all have the little IR sensor type things, and I just kind of want to keep up with that thematic theming. I'll probably just start putting subtitles on them, which might be the smart move to make, I don't know. I'll probably just be changing, like, the color pal palette of, like, the thumbnails and stuff like that. So instead of, like, the pink and blue in my thumbnails, it'll be, like, oh, uh, what is it? I'll probably do red and green, to be honest. Those kind of seem like the more appropriate secondary colors to base them off of. So we'll be seeing that slight change, and I'll probably put, like, a subtitle on it. be, like, the Entamas have appeared or whatever. I don't know. I have to think about how I'm going to be labeling all that stuff. The joy is, but I will be keeping up with the numbering, because, to be honest, I kind of just want to have it all just compiled into one little franchise type thing. So, mainly just to so uh, if, like, anyone decides they want to go watch through the whole, like, series or whatever, they can, like, go through the whole, like, eras of Tamagotchis, which I think is the more appropriate way of doing that, in a way. So, yay! It'd also be a way to, like, show how, like, I learn more about the devices and stuff like that and get, like, better at them and blah, 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 blah. But that is pretty much it for now. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time. Bye!